Now, what I've just talked about is um, how voltage to drop works. Um, I'm going to also show you uh, how that relates to how much power each component actually draws from the power supply in a series circuit. And then we'll also talk about parallel circuits. So, um, you probably saw this uh, at an experiment at school or someone explained it to you already. Um, what, what we predict is that the more light bulbs we add in a series circuit, the dimmer each individual light bulb will get. And I'll show you why. Um, firstly, if I um, ignore everything beyond here, because this is the positive terminal, this is the, ne the negative, if I complete the circuit here, note how bright that light bulb is. Okay? This is six volts, one light bulb taking all six volts. So the, um, the voltage drop across this light bulb is exactly the same as the supplied voltage from the power supply. The 100% of the volts is being dropped, it's being absorbed by this component and used by this component. Okay, um, so that's one light bulb in series. What if we have two light bulbs? You notice that indi each individual light bulb is now dimmer. The reason is because, as we did previously, and ignore everything beyond here, uh, as we did previous in the, in the previous section, we measured the voltage drops across each individual light bulb, and we found that each light bulb dropped about three volts out of the total six because they're equal, they're the same light bulbs, same type of light bulbs. So we'd expect the same resistance, and therefore one to one ratio of voltage drop. Each individual light bulb is now drawing half the total power that the power supply is putting out. Okay? And as a result, each individual one is dim dimmer. And similarly, if we put three in series, you notice that they're even dimmer than before because now the total volts, the six volts, is now split amongst, split amongst three light bulbs. And let's confirm that if we measure the individual, um, if we measure the individual voltage drops across each light bulb, we'll see that, so oh, wrong, wrong mode, got to set it to a voltmeter, we'll see that, so this one, 2 volts, and again ignore the negative sign because I, it just means I've got the direction wrong, doesn't matter, here, 2 volts, and here, uh, close enough, 1.977 volts. Each light bulb is dropping around 2 volts, which is exactly one third of the total power supply voltage. Uh, so the next part we're going to build a, we're going to see what happens in parallel circuits. Okay. So, forget all this, now we have, again, one light bulb in a circuit. What happens when I add another another light bulb in parallel? Let me just set this up. Now, here I have another light bulb. I'm going to attach this parallel in parallel to the existing light bulb. Notice what happens to the, notice what happens to the brightness of the existing light bulb. It doesn't dim. It doesn't dim um, because the, the second light bulb, as soon as it's connected in parallel to the first light bulb, it's drawing an equal amount of volts because it's in parallel. Electricity travels now, it has an option of going two paths, but at the same pressure. Voltage is pressure, if you think of it like that. Um, the result is double the amount of current is now being drawn from the power supply. Okay? And uh, let's confirm this. Look at the power supply. If I disconnect the parallel um, bulb, we see that 0.24 amps are being pushed through the single bulb at a six volts at six volts. Okay, so if we push six volts through the single bulb, we're only getting 0.24 amps through this bulb. Now, if we connect, watching here, if we connect the second bulb, look at the current; it doubles, or slightly more than double. Um, we'll just we'll just chalk that up to rounding rounding errors, right? 0.24 suddenly jumps up to 0.49, almost half an amp. Um, again, the voltage is still the same. It's still six volts. Um, what that means is each, both light bulbs are getting six volts because in parallel circuits, there's no additional, uh, so there's no voltage drop by adding parallel circuits. Uh, there's just more current is being drawn. Okay, so let's just confirm. Six volts being dropped in this one, in the, in the parallel light bulb, the second one I added, and the original light bulb is also still dropping 6 volts. Alright, 
so the voltage drop is still 6 volts. Both light bulbs are still getting 6 volts from the power supply, but in terms of um, current, it's being split and therefore twice the amount of current is being, um, is being taken from the power supply. Let's, uh, let's just uh, add one more and we'll see what happens. If we add three now, we see that the current is now triple. Originally it was about 0 0.24. If 0 0.24 times three is 0 0.72. So we'll, again, we'll chalk that up to rounding error. <laughs> and, and six volts being supplied to all three light bulbs. And as you can see, the brightness of each individual light bulb is exactly the same as the original light bulb when we, when we only had one. So observe, when I disconnect the other two, the brightness is unaffected. So it indicates that the power drawn by the, each individual light bulb is irrespective of however many additional light bulbs you add in parallel. Um, all that's happening is more and more current is being drawn from the power supply. That's all. What if we combine elements of parallel and series circuits together? So let's. So we see here what I've set up is a parallel circuit with two light bulbs. Right? They're equal brightness. Each one is drawing um, half the amps, about 0.24 amps, and getting six volts from the power supply. Now what if I add another light bulb to this circuit here. So I have this in parallel and these two in series. These two light bulbs in series. Just uh, connect them like so. Notice the brightness compared. So I have this in parallel and these two in series with each other. Notice the brightness is much different, very different. These two are much less bright. And the reason is because the voltage drop across these are now halved because they're in series with each other. When things are in series, the current passing through them is not affected, but the voltage passing through them is affected. The more, the more components you add into a circuit in series, the less voltage each individual component is getting. All right? So this is the easy way to think about it. To confirm this, let's measure the voltage drops. So I'm expecting three across each, even though they're both in parallel with this one. All right, so this is negative 3.02. Again, the negative doesn't matter. And 3.004, all right. And that makes sense because if I measure across both components at the same time, I should be getting the power supply um, voltage, which equals to, if I measure the voltage drop across the bulb in parallel, it's also six. Okay, so to summarize, when we add components in parallel, current, is increased. The current flowing through or the current being supplied or being drawn from the power source is increased because now electricity has more than one way to flow and they'll flow at the same voltage. Parallel circuits do not affect the input voltage but adding components in series does affect the voltage each individual component gets. The more you add in series the less voltage is across each, um, each component. Okay? So here's a question. Uh, when we turn on household lights does the, does the brightness of lights dim the more we turn on? No, right? Of course. Uh, the more lights we turn on in a household, um, the doesn't affect the, the brightness of each individual light. If it did, it would be, very, it would be a very de bad design. Um, so that would lead you to conclude that, okay, in, if it's given that the brightness of each individual light is not affected by how many lights we turn on, then that indicates that uh, household lighting circuits must be in parallel. And they are. Um, what we're going to do is now we're going to build a model of a household lighting circuit. Here is a simple model of a lighting circuit in a typical household. What I've done is I've connected two light bulbs in parallel with each other. Starting with a negative lead, two light bulbs in parallel, and then in series, each individual one in series with an individual switch, and then back to positive of the power supply. Now, you may or may not know this, but um, what happens in, t in terms of um, negative and positive, uh, in terms of the actual electrons flowing, is that electrons actually come from the negative into the positive, not positive to negative. Positive to negative is what we call conventional current flow, whereas negative to positive is what physically actually happens. Uh, the reason is because of historical reasons. Originally, we thought positive charges move from positive to negative, and that's what electrical current is, but... Um, 
um, I guess late in the 20th century we discovered that actually what hap what's happening is electrons are moving from positive to sorry from negative to positive and that's what actually happens so in reality in households we don't have DC we have AC and with AC we have an active wire and a neutral wire the active wire uh, is where the AC current starts and the neutral wire is a flat line if you connected a oscill oscilloscope to it it's a flat voltage which means the active provides the voltage into the neutral. The way I've connected this is actually incorrect. Uh, there's one problem with this. If the negative is the active wire, if, if the negative is representing the active wire in an AC circuit, then what we'd actually need to do is we need to put the switches on the negative side, or on the active side, so we turn this whole thing around and that'll be correct. The reason for this is safety. In actual household circuits, there's always the switches first before the light bulb. The reason is because if the switch is turned off, then everything behind the switch would not have um, a live current, would not have a live voltage attached to it. And that's pretty important as a safety feature. For example, right now, the switches are off. If there's, um, if someone's changing a light bulb, for example, like if uh, your dad or something climbs up a ladder and tries to change the light bulb, while the switches are off, and he touches the light bulb, touches some metal, he won't die, okay? Um, he won't be electrocuted because uh, the switches would uh, stop the voltage beyond this point. There's no, there's no more voltage beyond this point. So that's actually one very important feature of light holds, um, household circuits is the placement of the switch. The switch is always on the side of the active, on the, on the active side of the AC. Same with PowerPoint, same with everything. Um, so only when you turn it on does the voltage flow through the component, the light bulb. Now notice that it's in parallel. When I switch one switch on, one light turns on. So this is probably one room. Okay? In the other room, I turn it on, it's on again. So they work independently. I can turn one off without affecting the other. Okay. So this is how light, uh, how light, sorry, how household lighting circuits are structured. Each light for every room is connected in parallel with each other with a switch on the side of the active. Uh, wire uh, for safety reasons. Now, a typical household circuit, just by extension, this is not part of the syllabus, but by extension, you have a lighting circuit, you have a power point circuit, and then you have different circuits for the main appliances, typically for the main appliances of the household. For example, you have a separate circuit in parallel with, each, uh, with its own individual fuses and its own individual um, uh, safety equipment. Um, in parallel for the washing machine, for the stove, for the air conditioning. Those are typical things that have a, their own circuits. So a household actually has many circuits all in parallel with each other, all with its individual switches and fuses. Well, the lighting circuit is just one of, the, um, one of the circuits and within the lighting circuit every light bulb is connected with each other in series with a switch but in parallel with each other light bulb. Okay, And that's the important thing to grasp from this, from this experiment.